Hello, welcome to another show. I'm Sid, and today I'll be covering the four colors gradient patch in Spark AR Studio, which allows you to create filters for Instagram and Facebook using four tones of color. In this video, I'll be covering how to implement the patch itself inside of the patch editor and also give a quick overview of a tap to change filter that you can create yourself and play around with alternating between the foreground and background layers. With that being said, I'll pause the video and open a new project, show you how this is done. If you find any of the videos on this channel helpful or useful in any way, consider liking them, uh, leaving a comment, I do respond to all of them, and don't forget to subscribe because it helps the channel grow and I really appreciate your support. The first thing we're going to do is open the AR library, and under patch assets we're going to hit browse all, and scroll all the way down until you find the four colors gradient patch. Import that into your project, and once it's there, we're going to open up our patch editor. Drag this patch into the patch editor, uh, and obviously now we're going to need something to connect it up to. So we're going to add a couple of rectangles into our scene. Uh, I'm experiencing a little bit of lag, please bear with me. Uh, so we're going to add two rectangles. We're going to name one foreground and one background. Then we're going to come up here to our layers panel, and we're going to rename the default foreground and add a second layer for our background. Come back over to our scene, make sure that your background layer is on the background layer. Then we're going to highlight both the foreground and background and adjust the size to fill width and fill height. Now that we've got that done, we're going to add a material layer for each. So we're going to add a foreground material and a background material. And once that's done, we're going to come up here to our camera. And under segmentation and texture extraction, you just want to hit these little plus buttons that will add these textures to our assets panel. Now under foreground, we're going to add the camera texture to our texture uh, asset, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to check this alpha box and we're going to add our person segmentation mask, which will cut me out from the background. Now you can adjust this under person segmentation mask. You can adjust the mask size so you can increase that a little bit and adjust the edge softness until you're happy with the look. And after that, we're going to add off uh, our background. We're gonna come up here to texture and we're gonna hit this to create a patch. Now that we have this, we're gonna connect it up to our gradient four colors patch. And as you can see immediately, we have a nice background going on. If I make myself invisible for a second, you'll be able to see it more clearly. And if I adjust the colors, just to give you an example uh, that's a little bit brighter, so I'll go with red, blue, uh, green, and I guess orange is nice. As you can see, we now have these four colors pushing in from the edges. And as they approach the center, they begin to blend together. Uh, this is kind of creating a nice rainbow effect. You can also adjust the radius. So if you set it to zero, oh, if you set it to zero, you'll see it's much darker and closer together. And the higher you make it, the further apart this uh, from the center the colors begin to push and the blurring is less obvious. So if I go all the way up to one, you see it's mostly white and at the very corners of the screen you can see a little bit of the color. But none of the colors we actually chose, they're just the blended colors because it's being pushed outwards from the center. So if I come back down to say 0 0.25, you'll see we still have uh, the four original colors but they're blending as they come closer to the center. The closer you get to the center, the, the brighter the color will be. You can also adjust the rotation. So if I switch this 45 degrees or 90 degrees, then you'll see it rotates around the axis. You can also do this negative. So you can go minus 45 degrees uh, if you would like. I'm going to set this back to zero though, just for now. And I'll make myself visible again. Cool. So now if we add our foreground texture, if we come under foreground material and add this texture, then we can immediately connect it up to this patch. But as you see, all it does is make both the more foreground and background layer exactly the same, so I become invisible. Instead of that, what I'm gonna do is take our gradient patch and drag it in again. So now we have two of them, and I'm gonna connect that up here. Now, as you can see, I'm fully opaque right now, which uh, isn't, isn't great. It's a nice looking effect, for sure. If I adjust the colors a little bit, you'll see that it does create a nice like, it's not it's not too bad I suppose, but it's not exactly what we're looking for right now. So what I'm gonna do instead is 
show you how to create the foreground background alternate layers so the first thing we're going to do for that is add two more rectangles into our scene so we come up here and we'll add another rectangle and then i'm going to duplicate that we'll name this one foreground none because it's going to be a neutral background and the same for our back uh, a neutral and <laughs> the same for our background so we're going to name that foreground back foreground and background none while you're on the background you want to make sure that its layer is set to background as well and we're going to adjust to fill the width and the height same as before now we're going to create material layers for each of those create new material foreground none and background none okay so now that we have those we're going to do the same thing as our foreground with the texture extraction we're going to add our camera texture under textures which will project the original video onto this layer and then under alpha you want to hit check and add our person segmentation mask which will cut me out from the background now that we have this we're going to add a new patch into our patch editor so we we'll double tap on this and we're going to add a screen tap obviously any type of interaction is possible but for the purposes of this tutorial i'll be using a screen tap because it's easy to demonstrate on a desktop uh, and also things like opening mouth and blinking are slightly more complex and require a little bit more uh, fiddling if that makes sense so from our screen tap we're going to add a switch and from our switch we're going to add a knot and the knot is basically a boolean uh, the switch is sorry the knot is basically a boolean that checks whether something is true or false so if this is not this then that is true does that make sense uh, i hope i explained that a little bit uh, cool so now we have our foreground, our background, our foreground none, and our background none. We're going to highlight all of those, and we're going to make them visible as patches in our scene. So now we have our background, uh, all of these here. We want to make sure that our foreground and our background none are together, and our background and our foreground none are together. This way we can connect our original switch to these two, and we can connect from our not patch to these two. I'll just move them so that they're a little bit easier to see. Now, if I now as you can see, I'm once again visible. I'm not completely opaque. And if I simulate touch, then I can tap and alternate between the foreground and background layers. There's still a few issues, as you can probably see. So if we come down here to our background none material and reduce the opacity down to zero, our background is now back. And if I tap to change, then it will alternate between the foreground and background. But I am still opaque in the scene. So if we come up here to the foreground original one, the one with the color, and we reduce the opacity on this down to around 10, uh, maybe a little bit higher, maybe like 15, then as you can see, I now have a nice little hue, a, list, a nice little four-tone hue over myself. And if I tap to change, then the background is also that color. It's a pretty nice effect. You can adjust the... Uh, uh, the opacity of the background too. So if I do that, then you can see that you can make that slightly less opaque or not. But I prefer it to be fully opaque. And then when I switch over, I have this nice little glow. Uh, yeah, there's not really much to show. It's quite a simple patch. Um, I'm just going to drag all of these in order so that you can see it all at once. So I'll drag these up here. Oh, this is getting a little bit messy. <laughs> but yeah, basically, this is the entire patch. So we have our gradient four colors, which you can adjust the colors of, the radius, and also the rotation. We are connected up to our material layers for the foreground and background on these two. And then in order to implement the screen tap, we've connected from the screen tab itself to a switch and a not gate, uh, uh, which is connected to our background and foreground none and then a regular from the switch to our background and our foreground none. I said that wrong, but I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically that's the entire video. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, I'm really enjoying making these videos again. It's been fun. If you enjoyed the content, if you found anything useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I do try and respond to, I do try and respond to all of them. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of touch. I've just woken up and I wanted to make this video before... Uh, I don't know, before I got out of bed, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a nice day uh, and I'll see you next time.